Noel here for Petite Garden Centers and today I'm going to show you real quick an easy way to get a really big impact with your annuals, especially for an edge of a garden or a landscape. Um, some of us have in the past have gone out and planted individual cells from a flat that can be very time consuming and you're waiting a little bit longer to get that really big visual impact. So a um, real easy way to do that very quickly is actually to plant hanging baskets. And so um, today we have a hanging basket of petunias. Uh, these are super tunias, black cherry. Uh, Supertunias are a self-cleaning, very easy to grow petunia and they will continue to fill out and continue to kind of cover the edge of the landscape here. Um, we've already planted two of them. First thing that you do is actually pull the mulch back. If you've already mulched the area, pull the mulch back and then you're going to go ahead and dig and I, I already dug the holes. So um, dig the hole as deep as the hanging basket pot. So it's not very deep. It's only about uh, five, six inches of depth. Um, so that's easy digging for most of us. And then what you want to do is dig twice as wide as the hanging basket pot. So if it was a 10 inch diameter here, you want your hole to be about 20 inches across. And after that, you just pop the hangers off. So you're popping each side, pulling that hanger off, and just popping your plant out real gently. And there's a drip tray on the bottom. So you want to remove that drip tray and then go ahead and you want to loosen the root system. Okay, so always loosen your root system and you're going to head and gently just place it in the hole, turn it the way that you like it, the best position for it. And then you're just going to fill in around the, the soil ball, the root ball there. Okay. After you fill in and it's nice and snug, I'd go ahead and I would use your Osmocote fertilizer. So on the directions of Osmocote, it's about four tablespoons or one cap full per four square feet, okay? So you're gonna sprinkle around your petunia or your hanging basket and also on the inside so we can get those interior roots as well. Every time you water, and every time it rains, you're gonna be fertilizing this plant, which is gonna be perfect for them because they like that slow release, long feed all through the season, and it'll really keep those petunias producing very, very well. Um, other than that, that's basically it. You're gonna mulch. Um, just push the mulch back right around the plant. Don't go up to the crown, okay? Just keep a few inches away from the base of the plant, uh, mulch, and then go ahead and water, and you'll be ready to go. And you'll have an instant color border very, very quickly. Um, digging the holes, planting the plants. It took me about 10 minutes altogether for three, um, but again, you can install some color very fast instant gratification okay um, for all of our listeners we wanted to thank you for watching our videos and so we are actually going to um, offer a petite gift card drawing um, if you'll leave a comment below and tell us what you'd like to see um, as far as garden tips are concerned that we should cover and uh, we thank you a lot for watching enjoy mm -hmm.